In this video, we're going to be fixing the crank, but no start issue. Welcome back to the channel in today's video. A little bit of a annoying and frustrating one, but it is what it is. So this is my 2010 Dodge Ram 1500. It's got the 5.7 Hemi. Um, I went in to go to work and it didn't fire up. Cranks like completely normal. So I'm, I know there's no battery issue, but it did not fire. And it was like at five in the morning, I had to go to work. I was like, are you serious? I've never had an issue like this before. So one thing I wanted to quickly check if it's the fuel tank, or sorry, the fuel pump. Holy, I'm the smartest guy in town? No way. It worked, it worked. All I did was take a mallet and bang the fuel tank. So now, obviously, that sums it up to completely being the fuel pump is not working. So I'm gonna get a new fuel pump and that should fix this thing right up. But wow, that's, a, that's really simple. If you have a good crank and no lightning bolt, it's probably fuel. That's, that's what I'm thinking after doing all this stuff. I would check that if it's cranking like mine, I would just get a mallet and just hit it like all over the tank from the bottom. I give it a few good smacks up and down the tank because the tanks are pretty long on these things and see if it starts like that because it just started and I was like shocked, but obviously that's fuel pump now. So that's huge. I hit the tank, thought it was the fuel pump. It ran right after and then it didn't run and then I hit it again, started it up. I drove it around. So that's where it gets weird because you shouldn't be able to drive if it's, if the fuel pump is not working, it wouldn't be pumping gas to drive the thing. It would be pumping enough to start it and then die. But now it's like, it's running. It's starting every time. I've started it like three or four times. I don't know what's happening. Um, I'm just gonna let it sit again and see if it, if it starts. I'm honestly not gonna do anything. All right guys, so call me stupid here because I decided to start driving the Ram again. I drove it in, I drove it a long time. Dropped off the tires that I had in the back and then I turned the corner out of the tire place and it dies Now it won't restart. So I'm stranded on the side of the road. It's been over two hours, 45 minutes, almost three hours of waiting, which is uh, not ideal. Waiting for a BCAA tow truck. Good lesson. Uh, let's, let's talk about the lesson we learned here. If your truck, fixes itself it's definitely not permanently fixed so fuel pump 100 percent we're gonna be changing it out obviously yay finally it's over three hours all right guys so we got the ram back home it was a very long day for me it was a few days ago now. We are hopping into the fuel pump. First thing I'm gonna be doing is actually, I'm gonna go with taking the bed off because my reasoning here is I've dealt with the bed bolts already because I did a body lift, so I know they're not gonna break. But if I go me start messing with my fuel tank and my frame, they're probably super rusty, those bolts. Everything's probably getting brittle. So I just decide I'm just gonna take the bed off. So everything is removed from frame to bed. Fuel filler, all I did was, there's one bolt on this guy right in here. And then you just push it through here. That's what I did. This one was all cracked and garbage. I'm gonna get a new one of those, but it's disconnected. I took off my, my fender liners, which are gonna be different from yours. These are just uh, to keep the that gap hidden because I have a three inch body lift. As you just saw, I got all the bolts off. Dirt falling in my ears and just everywhere, all over my body when I went under there. That's why I put the shades on. We got all the bolts out. All right, so that took forever, but we got access to our fuel pump. And there's only two things we got to do to it. Nice rock in there. <laughs> Take the fuel line off and the electronic clip here. Pop that off, pop that off. 
and this cap there's like a cap on it and once that's off we can see what we got but just be really careful with these red clips because they like to be a little tough there you go i felt it lift up now with all the crud out Nice. There it is. It just pops. Okay, nice. Holy smokes. Can you guys see that? That is pure dirt. Ooh. So I gotta clean this off first before we go any further. This is what underlies when you go wheeling, by the way. Like, I'm not surprised. But this is years, like three years of mudding. So this is definitely where all that mud goes. So I had to take the hose out to it. It was just, there's too much in here. I, could, I couldn't get this clip off because it's clogged with dirt. There's dirt everywhere. So I just sprayed the fuel pump. I've been trying to get this off and because it was so clogged with dirt, it didn't want to come off. So hypothetically, all you have to do is that. Push that tab, it should pop. Push in a bit and then you kind of fiddle with it and it should pop, but you shouldn't have to force it too much. So definitely don't break it. There it is, the fuel line. It's just the little drops of fuel that pop out. We're gonna pop this guy off. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna dry it up a bit, clean this area, and then we're going to twist this and get that fuel pump out of there. What I'm gonna be doing, guys, is hitting this thing and turning it. As you can see, these tabs need to be in the bigger tab area so you can pop this ring off. All right, so we're gonna go like this. There we go. Ooh. So it's got some pressure up that I was unaware of. So I got my, my bin below it, guys. I'm gonna be taking it up and out, so. I'm gonna dump the gas as best I can in the tank. Oh, there's a lot of gas in there, that sucks. I'm just gonna drain it. There's like a bucket of gas in here. And gas is expensive, so. Can't be wasting that, you know? All right, pop that out. We're going to have our float. And there we go. Fuel pump is out. Lots of gunk around the edges there. I don't want it to fall in the tank. Uh, you can see little specks in the tank. Actually, maybe you can't. Few specks, nothing, nothing wild, but definitely have to clean up around the edges here. The new one came with a new O-ring, which is good because that last one looked a little stretched. So this one's just gonna slide right in there. There we go, sits in there like that. And now we are ready to install this. I don't see anything inside it. We are gonna be dropping it in the exact same way. Filler first, and in she goes. It's definitely got some spring tension, remember? So push that down. Looks sealed all the way around. Maneuver it around a little bit. There we go. Ah, nice. They're all they're all in. So we want to go this way. Yeah, there we go. Fuel pump is in. There we go. And then spin that a bit. There we go. Okay. Okay, we are going to see if that fixed our problem. Let's go see if it'll start because that is the moment I've been waiting for. All right, here we go. Woo! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! So since the ram starts, we know we fixed the problem. All right, guys. So as you guys saw, we got the bed back on and I'm going to be doing everything that I have to do just to put it back. As you can see, we got the exhaust on, 
through. We got it on our holder there. We got our brace back on. I'm gonna be doing this right now and then doing my tail lights and my off-road lights and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna put it all back together, guys, and I'll see you when it's all finished. All right, guys, the bed is all back together. Everything we did has been reversed and it is all good. Everything is working as it should be and all tightened up and it does run. I drove it around today, no issues at all. So I'd say the fuel pump fixed it. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I hope this helped you guys if you needed to diagnose or if you needed to install a fuel pump in your Ram. Thanks to all my friends and thanks to my girlfriend who helped me put the bed on and stuff, that's huge. Thanks everybody for watching, I really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.